We're now in Algebra 2 at 9.6b. We're going to talk about quadratic functions and how to solve maximum value word problems. This method will also work to find minimum values. If you haven't seen the last couple of videos, you might get lost or confused because we talked about maximum and min minimum values. And there's 12 previous videos for Chapter 9 now that you can just click on the description and go to the links. So maximum value or minimum value word problems are concerned with finding that largest or smallest value. And some of these problems involve quadratic functions. To solve them, we translate by finding the appropriate function, then find the maximum or minimum value of that function. So remember in word problems, we can use the strategy draw diagram to help us visualize the problem. We need to understand what the problem is asking. We need to come up with a plan to solve it and then check our solution to make sure it's reasonable. So here's our first problem. What are the dimensions of the largest rectangular pen that can be enclosed with 64 meters of fence? So it said rectangular pen, so I drew a rectangle. And I'm using the draw diagram strategy, aren't I? It's going to help me figure this out. We have 64 meters of fence that can go around this perimeter here. We have a width here, a width here, a length here, a length here. So that means two widths plus two lengths is going to equal that 64 meters of fence. Well, we'd like to find the maximum area, the largest rectangular pen. And area is length times width, isn't it? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this equation and we're going to start by solving it for L. We can add a negative 2w to each side of the equation. So we can isolate this L. That makes a zero pair. We get 2L equals 64 minus 2W. We can divide both sides of the equation by this coefficient 2. And we get that L, because that makes a 1, doesn't it? We get L equals 32 minus W. So now we can use 32 minus W for our L value. So we have 32 minus W times W is going to give us the area. So we substitute the 32 minus W into this formula, length times width, and we get the area is equal to 32 minus w times w. We can distribute this w, can't we? We're going to get a negative w squared with these two, and then we're going to get a 32w by distributing it over there. So now we have negative w squared plus 32w. All we have to do now is complete the square. We divide this value right here in half. We get a 16, and then we square it. We get 256. So now we have a negative square of w plus 16 plus 256 in that quadratic form. See? Here is our a value right here. It's an invisible 1. Here's our x. Here's our h squared. And here's our k value, 256. So the maximum function value is 256, this k value right here. And it occurs when w equals 16. And the dimensions of the pen are 16 meters by 16 meters. I know it said rectangle, but a square is basically a rectangle. It's got four sides, right? So be careful if that happens to you, OK? Don't think that it has to have one value larger than the other. 16 meters by 16 meters would still be a good answer for that, all right? Makes sense. Let's try another one. We've got another fencing problem. We've got 100 feet of fencing is available to make a rectangular dog pen against an existing wall. So here we have this existing wall of a building. We've got 100 feet of fence, so all we need is three sides, don't we? Because that wall is going to make the other side. So what are the dimensions of the pen that will yield the maximum area? What's the largest dog pen that we can make with that 100 feet of fencing? So we're going to let the x equal the width of the fence at the ends, and the y is going to be the remaining side parallel to the wall. So now we have two x's plus a y, don't we? 2x plus y equals 100 feet of fence. We can add a negative 2x to each side of the equation, so we can isolate y. And we get y equals 100 minus 2x. Now we could substitute this for y into the area formula, 100 minus 2x. So instead of x minus y, we've got x minus 100 minus 2x. We can distribute this x, and we get 100x minus 2x squared. We can factor this. We get a negative 2 times x squared minus 50x. 
We can complete the square. We divide this 50 in half and get a 25, and then we square it. 25 times 25 is 625, and we can add it inside the parentheses like this, and then take it out. We can split this, can't we? We can go like this, like we did in the last couple of videos, and we can add this 25 squared just like this. So now we have a negative 2 times the square of x minus 25 plus 2 times 25 squared. Now if you're really confused, you need to see the last couple of videos, 9.5a, b, and 9.6a. That'll really help you. We've got negative 2 times the square of x minus 25 plus 1250. That's our k value. The maximum area occurs at the function of 25 equals 1250. That's our x value, see? Solving for y when x equals 25, we get 2 times 25 plus y equals that 100 feet of fence. That means 50 plus y. We can add a negative 50 to each side to isolate y. We get y is 50. So we know the dimensions of the fencing will be 25 feet by 50 feet. See? See how I did that? So, like I said, if you're really confused, you have to go back and watch the last couple of videos, and there's going to be links in this description so you can watch them. We're going to do 9.6c, and we're going to talk about the maximum or minimum product of two numbers that have a certain sum. I'm going to add this to the Algebra 2 playlist. I'm going to have links to last year's Chapter 12 and 13 that talked about relations and functions and quadratic equations. I'm going to have links to those previous videos that'll help you, 9.5a and b, and all the other 12 previous videos for this chapter. And I'm also going to have a link to 8.1b, where we learned how to complete the square. So if you forgot how to do that, there'll be a link for that too, okay? So this also works for finding minimum values, all right? So I know the title said maximum values, but it works for minimum values too, all right? I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you next video. Bye.